little book berry and this is my summer TBR. So I have a big old list of books that I want to read this summer before it's over and I have to go back to college and then it's autumn and then I'll have an autumn TBR list and it goes on and so forth and as I go I will tell you how it goes and what's going on, which books I'm reading, what they're about and recommend them to you guys because that's what this is all about. This is the godly pile of books that I want to read before I go back to college. They're far too heavy to hold throughout the entire video, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the things separately. So the first book that I'm going to talk about that I want to read is My Sister Rosa by Justine Larbustler. I don't know how to say it. I really apologise. Someone tell me. I don't know. I'm sorry. Anyway, this book is about a teenage boy whose sister is a psychopath and her parents, their parents don't really acknowledge it so he takes it upon himself to look after her and keep her in line and what I've heard about this book, it's amazing and Rosa is a really fantastic, fascinating character. She's only 10, she's a psychopath so yeah, it's really interesting and I can't wait to read it. The second book that I would like to read this summer is Heartless by Marissa Mayer. As I understand it, this book is the backstory of the Queen of Hearts. Marissa Mayer also wrote The Lunar Chronicles, which I would love to read, but I think I'll do that in autumn. But I just can't wait to see this because Alice in Wonderland is one of my favourite books, so it would be amazing to see the, Red, the Queen of Hearts backstory, so no one really knows why she's mean. So it's great that she's taking it upon herself to explain why she's been and evil and wants to kill everyone. This is a book I got from Willoughby Book Club, one of my monthly subscriptions that I've got going. And it's released by Patrick Ness, which is one of his new releases. He also wrote Nether Night and a bunch of other crazy amazing books. And I can't wait to read this one because one, it's Patrick Ness. Two, um, it's about a boy, I think. Possibly. It's about a teenager and how his life changes in the course of one day and I watched an interview about the book and Patrick Ness said that this is his most personal book that he's read which is really interesting so I can't wait to read it. We have the Immortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Don't hate me for not already have read this. I'm sorry. I apologise. I'm a terrible human being. So hopefully by the end of summer I will have the Shadowhunter City of Bones finished and then I can carry on to the next one and the next one. I got the series recently from my mum and I'm super excited to read it because I've watched the bit of the Netflix series and I'm a fan of the story but not so much the... I don't know, it's not very good but it is. It's good in the way the story and the idea is great but the the directing and the other stuff is not, not a good one, so I can't wait to read the book! Yeah. So that's all the books that I hope to finish by the end of... I'm so tired! Those books are so heavy! Whew. Okay, so yeah, that's all the books that I want to read by the end of summer, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and as promised, I will have a fact about myself at the end of this video, like the last video, and like all my videos to come, and here it is. I'm a proud Ravenclaw, and my Patronus is a hedgehog.